In this video, we're going to briefly talk about how to create numbered or ordered lists in R Markdown, as well as unordered lists. Numbered or ordered lists are lists that have numbers and letters and things like that, showing a consistent order or relationship between the different elements in the list. So here is an example of a numbered list with subnumbering. So you can see here I have a first level of the list with number one, a second level of the list with the letter A, and a third level of the list with the lowercase letter I. In order to create this list in R Markdown, you have to be very careful about how, to, about how you provide the text. So first of all, there needs to be a blank between the text here and the first number here. And then for the second level, after the first level of the numbered list, I actually have to hit two tabs or four spaces to get over here. In order to get to the third level, I actually have to hit tab four times or eight spaces in order to create a third level of my ordered list here. And so if I pasted this set of text into an R Markdown document and then rendered it, I would get what I see right here. So here's an example of a simple ordered list in R Markdown. Unordered lists are a different type of list. So these are lists that, have, that can have different sublevels, but instead of having numbers or letters that clearly describe the relationship between the levels, you simply have a symbol like an open circle or a dash or something like that. And so in this example right here, I have a, some text with three sublevels. So I have a first level, the second level I have to tab, and then I, have, I can write the text after to create the second level. I have another item in the second level. And then if I hit three tabs, or I'm sorry, if I hit two tabs, tab, tab, I can create the third level of this unordered list. And notice I'm using the star symbol to do that here. And so if I copied and pasted this text right here into an R Markdown document and rendered it, I would get something that looked like this. And so you can see the first level by default is a solid black circle. The second level is an open circle. And then the third level is this solid square. Some other things to note about unordered lists are that there, once again, must be a line between any text and then the first level of your unordered list. So we have to have a blank line between this text and this star symbol right here, otherwise it won't work. And also, while I use the star symbol in mine, you can actually use the plus symbol or the minus symbol instead and it will re render the exact same list. So, in order to try this for ourselves, let's create an example of a numbered list with four different levels and an unordered list with three levels. So we'll hop over to RStudio and see if we can't create an R Markdown example with these properties. So we're back in our studio, so I can show you how to create numbered or ordered lists and unordered lists. So uh, what I did here is I already created an R notebook, uh, so you can see what's going on here. And so I have some simple text, a numbered ordered list. Notice that there is a blank line between this text and then the first level of my ordered list. So I use a one to represent the top level. To create my second level, I use two tabs after the top level. I'm using the letter A, the lowercase letter A. To create my third level, I need to use four tabs, one, two, three, four. And then I use the lowercase letter I to start the third level. And to create my fourth level, I'm going to use one, two, three, four, five, six tabs before I start writing the text for the fourth level, which I'm going to denote by A with a parentheses after it, though you'll see that doesn't really have an effect. And then I can do something similar with another top level, second level, etc. I mentioned the importance of having a line between the text and then the first level of an ordered list or even an unordered list. And so I've shown what happens here if you do not follow that advice. So I'm going to compile this using preview. And you can see here that I have four levels of an ordered list, top level, second level, third level, and fourth level. Though notice that the second level and the fourth level are essentially the same kind of symbols there. So whether I use the dot or the right parentheses, it didn't really matter in terms of creating the levels. And I'll be honest, like I've played around with this. You kind of have to be careful about what symbols you use to start a level. It doesn't understand all the different levels, but most of the time you probably don't have more than say three levels. And so this would probably be a perfectly fine scheme for creating an ordered list. So I mentioned that we have a broken ordered list here. And so you can see that when I don't have the space between the text and the first level of the list, then when it's rendered, it doesn't, it doesn't render properly to an ordered list.
unordered lists are a bit easier to work with in R Markdown. So to create a top level, I'm simply gonna use the star symbol here. And then to create a second level, I create a new line and then put one tab, use a star symbol, I create my second level and so on. To create a third level, to create a third level, I would use two tabs after a line to create the third level. And so we can see here, this is supposed to be a simple example of a top level, second level, top level, second level, third level, back to second level, top level again. And so we'll see what this looks like rendered. And as I mentioned previously, you don't have to use the star symbol, you can use the plus symbol or the minus or dash symbol and you actually get the exact same results. And though I didn't mention it, you can actually combine star and plus sign and the dash symbol into one unordered list and it's actually gonna give you the exact same results. So when I compile this, you can see that I get four identical unordered lists even though the symbols I used in each one of these was the same.